Lucas Media got a video request from one of my subscribers asking for my opinion on Julio Fulio getting deleted last night. So of course I did my research and come to find out that the young brother got deleted last night in Tampa, Florida. And you know, Scarb want to know am I surprised or how do I feel about all of this? Honestly, I'm really not shocked by this. Did, did him and a bunch of rappers down there in Jacksonville, they're only known for songs about dissing the dead. And I see where Julio Fulio made a song called When I See You, where he was talking about dissing Young and Ace's brother and his best friends who was killed after a quadruple during a quadruple shooting and i mean i get it they say that young and ace went first and so on and so forth but honestly the reason why it don't shock me because when you diss the dead when you diss the dead you bring out a lot of evil you put out a lot of evil out there and see there's people out there that they don't care who went first you gotta understand man you brothers are somebody's nephews y'all somebody's sons y'all somebody's cousins and when you get the dissing people in going to people grave sites and you know making fun of a, a young brother who lost his life mind you like i said some mother lost her son some father lost his son you don't think that people gonna remember that you don't think that people's anger is gonna be so fueled that when they see you what's up y'all don't think that and and i what i wish what i wish a lot of brothers would understand is there is no end to this how many drill rappers you know that actually made it? And even the ones who did, like a Chief Key for a Lil Dirt, they still took losses. Siblings, cousins, close friends. But we think in our culture that is cool. And, you know, honestly, Julio Fulio making it to 26. When you go back, look at most of them rappers is about 20, 26, right? Duck, Vaughn. I mean, I can really start naming names. But what you got to realize is when you leave, when you live in a lifestyle like that, you only got to be wrong one time. Somebody could be following you for years, waiting to catch you slipping for years. It only take one time. That's it. But this is why you've seen the people like the Chief Keeps or the Lil Durks leave their city because there is no end game to it. But you got rappers that, you know, they don't want to leave their city. And I get it. It happened in Tampa. But Tampa ain't that far from Jacksonville. If you're going to have a 26th birthday party and you know you got enemies like that, man, it's either got to be something secret or you got to go... You got to go to New York. You got to go to Atlanta. You got to go to Chicago. You got to go somewhere else where you don't think these people are going to follow you. But unfortunately, you know, it's a terrible situation. He gone. His brother gone. His cousins and some of his cousins are gone. So, I mean, was all of it worth it? Honestly, honestly, most people that I was around was in the streets. And when you look, you know, fast forward that I'm almost four decades on this planet, it wasn't worth it. The people who was in the streets, everybody got caught. The streets are undefeated, honestly. And I really wish that brothers would stop trying to live fast and die young versus playing to be older. Man, it's cool to be almost 40. It's cool to see your kids go to prom. It's cool to see your kids have kids. It's cool to get old. It's cool to grow your 401k. It's cool to invest in stocks. It's cool to build a business. It's cool to help your mom out when she needs it. These are the type of things we need to be looking forward to, man. But when you beef with other brothers and you diss the dead, what do you think is going to happen at some point? And again, it only take one time. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.